welcome to lesson 30, Visiting Places. Lesson 29 was about leisure and booking a day trip. Now in lesson 30, we're going to see the kind of language you might use when taking a day trip. And we're going to begin by imagining we're on a day trip and what the tour guide might say to us. Well, let's see our first conversation. Welcome to ABC Tours. I'll be your guide today. My name is Jay. We're going to see some very interesting sights today. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Well, let me tell you about our itinerary. Right now, it's 9.30. And when we leave here, our first stop will be a waterfall. We'll spend about 20 minutes there, and you can take some pictures. Oh, um, can we go swimming at the waterfall? No, it's too cold for swimming. After we leave the waterfall, our next stop will be the old castle. We'll arrive at 11 o'clock and spend one hour exploring the old castle. It's 600 years old and it's very interesting. Uh, but, but how about lunch? Don't worry. We'll take a break for lunch after visiting the castle from 12 to 1. At 1 o'clock, we'll depart for the museum. We'll spend two hours visiting the museum. Oh, um, do we have any time for shopping? Not really. Our itinerary is pretty full. In fact, we need to get going right now. Driver? Well, now let's take a closer look at some of those new words. Itinerary, 行程表, itinerary, stop, 站, stop, spend, 花, spend, arrive, 到达, arrive. Depart, 离开, depart. Explore, 探险, explore. Now it's your turn to join our program and use English to talk about a day trip. Well, this is our day trip. So, what are we looking at here? We are looking at, right, an itinerary. Well, we go from Taichung to Nantou. So, Nantou is the first stop. And Shitou is the second stop. What happens at four o'clock? At four o'clock we arrive at Lugan. And then what happens at five o'clock? Well at five o'clock we depart from Lugan. So, all together in Lugan, we spend 
one hour. You only got one drink? Oh, you mean you want some too? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, I really enjoyed that day trip. You did? I didn't. Well, I thought it was great. Hey, the castle was fantastic. I thought it was quite dangerous. Really? Well, the museum was really impressive. Oh, I thought it was so dull. I don't like looking at ancient things. Hmm. Well, hey, the waterfall was amazing. Oh no, no, no! I thought it was really quite scary. That noise—it was so loud. Oh, I didn't like it at all. So、uh, you didn't enjoy the day trip, did you? <laughs> Obviously, not as much as you did.、Hmm. I really liked it. Hey, let's go on another day trip next week. Oh, no way.、Hmm. Now let's take a closer look at some of those new words. Amazing, 奇妙 amazing, fantastic, 太棒了 fantastic, impressive, 壮观 impressive, dangerous, 危险 Dangerous, scary, 恐怖 scary, ancient, 古老 ancient. 这些字呢，都可以利用在描述某些地方 For example, the Yuanshan Hotel is very impressive. 嗯，泰鲁格 is quite dangerous. 嗯，鹿港 is a very ancient place. Not as as 是利用在比较两样东西或者两个人的时候。Not as as. For example. I'm not as tall as David, or I'm not as old as David. Now it's time for our story, a special trip. First, a new word, postcard. 明信片 postcard. Dear, why did you have to wear these stupid clothes? What, what, what's wrong with these clothes? <laughs> They just look so stupid. These are the clothes that you wear in the jungle of Africa. <laughs> yeah, these are these are real jungle clothes.、Oh. Good morning.、Uh, I am your tour guide. Oh. oh, so you are the expert on lions. I am. He is. Yes, he is. Oh, I am. <laughs> Oh. Oh, welcome to our special tour. Oh well,、uh, what's our itinerary? Our itinerary is we depart now,、oh. <laughs> and we arrive soon, <laughs> and we explore for lions. Oh yes. yes.
Oh, let's yeah, go! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here is where we can see lions. Are you sure I don't see a lion? I'm sure we can see lions. No, 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 no. I don't see a lion anywhere. Lion. No, no. Oh, uh, lion. Impressive. Yes. Ah, well, um, how did you know uh, we could see a lion here uh, now? Oh, uh, uh, oh, oh, it's routine. Uh, huh? Routine, yes, 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 routine. The lions have a routine. The lions have a routine? Yes, they come. Yes. They come here every morning at oh, 10 o'clock. Yes, a lion's routine. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Every morning yes. at ten o'clock, yes. we can see lions here. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, oh, that's great. Then we'll come back tomorrow at ten o'clock and see them. And, and, and we'll come back the day after tomorrow. We'll come back and see the lions every day. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> oh.
bad. Not bad. Well, are they gone? They're gone. Okay. A thousand for you and a thousand for you. Uh, but they want to come back tomorrow. Tomorrow? In fact, they want to come back every day. Every day? No! I'm not coming back every day! You're not? Then you know what will happen. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. A bottle a day. <laughs> All right. All right. A bottle a day makes the lion stay. Wasn't that a wonderful day today? Oh, dear, I'm so glad you enjoyed yourself. Oh, I saw a lion. <laughs> a lion. Oh, yes, dear. <sighs> what are you doing, dear? Oh, um, I'm writing a postcard to our neighbors <laughs> to tell them we saw a lion. Well, they would be so surprised, wouldn't they? Oh, I think so. <laughs> you know, dear, it is so good to get away and go on vacation, right, dear? Yes, yes, I think it is a good idea to have a vacation. You know, to get away from our usual routine, dear. Um, well, yes. As long as we have another routine. <laughs> another routine, dear? Oh, well, yes. Um, tomorrow, at exactly ten o'clock, we can see the lions again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course, the lions again, dear. <laughs> well, if you're happy, I'm happy. Postcard of Hualien. Mm -hmm. They say they're having a good time, and every morning at ten o'clock they see lions. Mm -hmm. Lions? And then they say we're having a good time in Africa. Our neighbors are strange people. And now, a chance for you to look back. As usual, when our story ends, after each ten lessons, we like to give you the chance to look back at what you've learned. So, what have you learnt from lessons 21 through 30? By now, you should be able to use English to talk about your routine and to talk about music, to ask for and give opinions, using English in the past, and You've also learned a lot about traveling, like how to use English at the travel agency, or booking a hotel, or at the airport, on the airplane, and arriving at an airport. Also for traveling, 
You should be able to use English at a hotel or talking about a day trip, talking about leisure time, and describing a place, oh, and many, many other things you should be able to use English for, right? Right. Well, I think we'll leave our students to look back at some of the things they've seen and uh, make sure they can use English, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we'll say bye-bye. Bye. See you in lesson 31. Yep. Bye.